I'd now like to call the meeting to order. Mrs. Burns, roll call. Mr. Sullivan? Present. Mr. Parentano? Present. Mr. Allen? Present. Mrs. Bowman? Here. Ms. Boyle? All here. Mr. Feather? Here. Mrs. Hallenbeck? Present. Mr. Kovitz? Here. Mr. Marrington? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. The board met in executive session this evening prior to this meeting to discuss issues related to labor relations. Uh, 1.05 public comment. I'm going to read this in its entirety. All regular and special meetings of the board shall be open to the public. Since the board desires to be a good listener and be responsive to the community, persons desiring to address the board may do so during the time so allotted on the agenda and according to established procedures. During the audience portion of each board meeting, members of the public are invited by the president to speak for or against any proposal on the agenda or any other school concern. At the discretion of the board president, board members or appropriate administrators may respond to questions from the public. The individual is asked to identify him or herself, the area in which he, she, he or she lives, and occupation. Please limit comments to three minutes and avoid discussing personalities. Additional process time matters. Speakers will be called to the podium in the following order. Residents and taxpayers of this school district who wish to speak on agenda items. Residents and taxpayers of this school district who wish to speak on non-agenda items. And others wish, who wish to speak on agenda items. Any additional topic and or comment by a non-resident or person who does not pay in the Chamonix School District tax may be presented to the board in written form directed to the super, office of the superintendent or by email. There will be a one hour time limit to public comment at the beginning of the meeting. When all those who have registered to speak have been heard, others may, be, others may speak, time permitting. There will be an additional period for public comment limited to three minutes per speaker prior to the adjournment of the meeting. Registered speakers who have not spoken will have the opportunity to speak first and use three minutes. They will be counted as first session speakers. No speaker may speak more than once during each comment period. The board is very interested in audience comments. The board will listen to and research, if necessary, all audience comments. Any additional follow-up will occur through district administrators. Should matters pre presented be of a controversial nature, the board may refer them to the proper committee or hold them for inclusion, in the, in, hold them for inclusion on the agenda or a subsequent meeting. Okay. <coughs> no sign-ups. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Well, that brings us to our one action item tonight. 2.01 Fact Finders Report, the Shamany Educational Support Professional Association. Whereas the Nishamity Board of School Directors received in the matter of the fact finding between the Nishamity Educational Support Professional Association and the Nishamity School District, the Fact Finders Report. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Nishamity Board of School Directors rejects the report as issued. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Puritano. Comments, questions? Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask that the solicitor uh, make a clarification on the vote process. Um, so the way the motion reads, um, it's a motion to reject the report. So a vote in favor of the motion, a yes vote in favor of the motion will be a vote uh, to reject the report. Uh, a no vote would be to uh, defeat the motion. I think this is a roll call vote, correct? Yes. Mrs. Burns? Mr. Allen? Uh, yes. Mrs. Bowman? Yes. 
Miss Boyle? Uh, yes. Mr. Feather? Yes. Mrs. Hellenbeck? Yes. Mr. Kubitz? Yes. Mr. Marrington? Yes. Mr. Parentano? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. Nine yes. Anybody want to approach the podium have anything they want to say? That brings us to <coughs> board comment. Anyone on the board have anything they want to say? I would like to take the opportunity to not only address you, our support staff, but our community at large for whom we rep are responsible to as well. Our decision regarding the fact finder's report must not only encompass a level of fairness to our staff, but also to maintain our core mission, which is to educate the children of Neshaminy. We as a district are governed to accept or, the re or reject the report in its entirety. While the fact finder's agreement did come back with some sections agreeable to what the district needs to accomplish, as well as the association, some of the language on the issues still remained unclear. For that, the district must reject the report in total as we are governed to do. Do not misinterpret this as anything but another step in the negotiation process. We definitely believe there is way to move forward and the district is looking at this as a new opportunity to re-engage in the negotiation process with the association to address the remaining issues and clarify some of the recommendations on behalf of the fact finder. We hope this can be accomplished in a similar format that allowed us to yield previous positive results in an expedited fashion. Thank you. Thank you. That being said, I'd uh, like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Can I get a second? Second. Second. Mr. Allen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. Meeting's adjourned. <laughs>